hello everyone welcome back to another youtube video today's video is a very special one because we have a very special guest on it i'm finally going to be revealing my boyfriend lyle um, as you guys know i obviously have a boyfriend and I talk about him all the time in my videos, but I don't always show him. Although, <laughs> I know that he is in a lot of my older videos and some of you guys have scrolled all the way back down to find them and you've seen him in them because yes, it is the same guy. We have been together for going on six years now. Um, so obviously he's such a big important part of my life. So many of my comments have been that you guys want to know more about him. So I figured that now that we're moved in together and it's been long enough <laughs> that maybe I would just intro you guys to him, finally just show him on camera and um, answer some questions. Um, so I did put on my Instagram a story of just what do you guys want to know, any questions for Lyle, for us, about our relationship. You guys submitted them, so quickly, if you're not already following on Instagram, it's the Fashion Squirrel, so that you don't miss anything else like this, Q and A's, anything else that's coming up in the future. But uh, yeah, I guess, um, <laughs> no, no for further ado, <laughs> Lyle. Oh, am I supposed to come over? <laughs> yes. Oh. Do I take a bow, do I get cool <laughs> intro music? Hey guys. Hey. <laughs> so this is Lyle. <laughs> hey everyone. Um, yeah, so he means so much to me and I'm really excited to have him on the channel. Oh. <laughs> okay, so. That's what do we do? <laughs> so, all right, so. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who asked all these questions? <laughs> okay, so one thing I did notice, which I feel like is a good one to start on, is how we first met. So, okay. um, <laughs> I'll let you tell the story, because I feel, well, but, but, yeah, maybe. Well, I mean, huh, okay. We met at a bar, is the short version of the story. Um, the slightly longer version is we met at a bar downtown in Manhattan. Um, I was in training for my first job, and Taylor was working at the time. And we were at a bar, we were both with friends at a place that I don't think either of us would ever really be, um, <laughs> which was kind of weird. And yeah. we were, you know, maybe drinking a little bit and people were dancing and um, Taylor was actually dancing with a friend of mine and then um, I really don't really quite remember, but I guess I interjected, swung in <laughs> and whatever i ended up getting your number yeah and then like i think i texted you probably a few days later mm -hmm. and then you texted me a few days later and then we got dinner yeah um like two blocks from here yeah and actually that is most of the story yeah yeah <laughs> yeah that's a pretty i think good. it's good detail yeah okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so that's how we met we met in person in real life and um that's yeah, right. it was really sweet. The old-fashioned way. <laughs> the old-fashioned way, yeah. And I thought that it was nice, too, that um, when he texted me that he asked me if I wanted to get dinner because I feel like a lot of guys just want to do something like, oh, let's get a drink or something, but he, like, took me to a nice dinner, which right. I thought was really nice. One thing, the, the weird <laughs> thing, so I remembered, like, what Taylor looked like, but all I knew was her first name and her number. <laughs> So I like in like the age where you want to like look everyone up beforehand like I couldn't like be creepy and stalk her so <laughs> I just had to like okay I'll just like wait until I guess I meet her again in real life because it's not like we shared life stories or anything when we were at the bar so right. uh, that was that was kind of weird. Yeah. Uh, I mean I guess it's probably more normal but I don't know. I'm used to like stalking everyone ahead of time. So yeah, I, yeah, it was pretty blind, I guess, because yeah, neither of us really knew anything about the other one except for just like a you know the brief meeting at the bar. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it worked out. Okay. <laughs> so okay, I'd like to know when he would feel comfortable to start being in your videos. 
Well, I mean, you know, I just don't want to steal the spotlight. <laughs> now, well, I mean, look, I'm, I'm fine being in your videos. Um, I don't know. It's up to you. It's, yeah. They're your videos, so. Yeah, I would say, like, it's not, well, I would say, like, I know that a lot of YouTubers, it's, like, the whole, like, everything that they're filming is, like, them and their partner and just, like, everything about their life. And, I don't know, I've kind of always just felt like, you know, th that's not, like, what the story is about. And also, like, I know that you've, like, expressed to me that you don't really like being on camera as much. That's fair. Yeah. Which is fine. Like, you know, a lot of people feel that way. And, you know, I don't know. I just feel like there's certain, like, I feel like it's totally fine also to just keep certain parts of your life private, too. And that's fair. Yeah. yeah, I'm not I'm not the best in front of a camera, so <laughs> at least that's what I think. So. <laughs> no, I think that you are. His favorite thing about you, and then how he recalls you first meeting, but we already talked about that. My favorite, uh, can I pick multiple things, or it has to be one thing? Whatever you want. <sighs> okay, if I was going to pick one thing, I think it would just be, like, how genuine and real you are. Um, you know, like, I, I fully trust you as a person but also like you just you kind of what you see is what you get with you and I feel like in a world where people are not always like that I think that was probably one of the things that I liked most about you when we first met um but I mean you're funny you have like just this way about you people just love you and are gravitated towards you um you know you're independent and you have your own life but like I still feel like we have a fun life together um you know, you're beautiful, and I don't know, I just, I, I feel like I have a very long list I could go through, but I feel like since it, since it asked for the top one, I guess I should probably stop there for now. Yeah, that's really nice. <laughs> oh, I feel... All right, your turn. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> three, three favorite qualities about each other. So I guess, um, well, I feel like you already just kind of answered that. Okay. So I guess I answered that about you. Okay. Um, well, top three is really hard. <laughs> um, I don't know, I'm nervous though. I'm just gonna, like, explain this. <laughs> no, 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 okay. no, um, <laughs> it's hard to put it into words, really, because, like, I know how I feel, but, like, to describe it out loud is, like, hard. That's fair. Um, well, one thing that I know is that you make me feel very comfortable because like I really like trust you and I like truly really 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 trust your opinion and I think that you're really smart so like I feel like comfortable and like safe with you because I know that like you're very smart and I trust your opinion and I feel like I don't know I just feel like the safe kind of thing with you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, sorry guys, this is really awkward for you. Well, I kind of, I feel like it all kind of comes back to trust. Mm -hmm. Like I know that I fully can trust you and that like you have a very, very kind heart. Um, and I feel like you're always thinking about others. Like I remember when we first started dating, like you were, especially like you were very, very good at like thinking about ways to like make me happy or like do cute little things like just like bring me flowers or like like we would meet up for breakfast before work because we didn't get to see each other that often so like he made time for me even though like he really didn't have that much time like especially earlier on in your career mm -hmm. um now I don't do any of that by the way <laughs> no no he still does yeah I, I think that's I, think that's, I mean I think the reason that we have such a good relationship is probably just the mutual trust aspect of it, right? Like, I don't know, I feel like that's pretty rare. Um, and like, I don't know, I just feel like it allows us to kind of be independent, but still have like this closeness that yeah. is good for both of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did you two meet? Well, what does he do for work? Oh, uh, I, I might be a little bit vague. Um, I'll just say, I guess I work in I work for a financial services company in New York, um, and I really enjoy it, and it's uh, it's a good time. Yeah. That's it. That's it.
Can I have a sip of your coffee? Yeah, you can have a sip. <laughs> just, like, I don't want a whole coffee, but I just want a tiny You can have a sip. It's a little cold. It's good, though. Why he hasn't proposed. <laughs> we can skip that. <laughs> I mean, no, I, I, I feel like... I feel like, I mean, I don't feel like we need to do it on camera, but I feel like we kind of have an understanding of like, we're going to be with each other forever. But um, I don't know, like I, I always felt like I didn't want to get married before I was 30. And I feel like that's still kind of been my plan. But I don't know, I feel like for all intents and purposes, we might as well be engaged or married. So yeah, I don't know. That's yeah, how I, feel. I agree with that. Do you ever see yourself settling down outside of the city? It's funny because we were actually just talking about this last night. We were. <laughs> just like, I mean. You go. Yeah, okay. I think, like, obviously we would love to live in the city for the long term, I think. I mean, I don't know if that's how you feel no, too. No, good. Yeah. But, I mean, how I feel is like, I'm kind of torn because I obviously I love the city. And it's like hard to picture myself leaving because I love it so much here. And I just, it's hard to even like think past ever living here because I just like, every I love New York City so much. Um, I mean, like I thought about like, would I like raise kids in the city? And I think like, I used to think no, but I kind of like everything else, like logistics, money aside, I would because I just think that kids can become very mature living here and um, and also it's like Gossip Girl, <laughs> like how they lived in the city um, and went to school here. So I feel like I could do that, but it's so incredibly expensive, like the schools here from the start, like all the way up through all the grades. and just like the apartments, like being able to afford an apartment with like extra rooms. It's just like, that could be really, really tough. Um, so maybe we probably, maybe we would end up having to live outside the city, but I don't know where yet um, or anything like that. Yeah. I mean, I think we're on the same, like yeah. the city's awesome. I, so I grew up in the suburbs outside of the city my parents were from the city and moved out there so that I could have a good childhood. And I mean, there is something to be said for growing up in a place where there's lots of open space and, you know, great schools and great neighborhoods, but the city is so awesome. Um, it's just, you know, it comes down to how affordable it is to have a life in New York city and send kids to school and all that stuff. So I don't know. I mean, we don't have any plans as of now to leave, but you know, I'm sure, things will change somewhere down the road and we'll evaluate then, I guess. But yeah. for now, the city's the place to be. Yeah. How do you like living together? Ugh. <laughs> uh, it's been good. It's Well, it's actually been really good, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. One, like, I mean, it's funny because, like, we've been dating for so long and we haven't actually technically lived together, but, like, I feel like we kind of knew what it was going to be like. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I would say we make it work pretty well. I mean, it's always like, usually you hear stories about when people move in together and the things like about them start to really kind of like, you know, irk somebody or whatever. And for better or worse, like we haven't had any of those moments, I wouldn't say. Uh, even like the thing that I was like the most worried about was having one bathroom and sharing a bathroom. And even that has been like totally fine. So I don't know. I mean, it's been, it's been really good and like, you know, Taylor has a really good, sophisticated sense of taste, so, like, whereas I wanted to just, like, buy a bunch of furniture and, like, just get it over with, Taylor has kind of stretched a little bit on in terms of patience, and it's definitely paying off, so I think we make a good team. Yeah. Yeah. I think so, too. Yeah, I would agree. I think I really like living with Lyle. Like, I've said since we moved in that like since I moved in with him that it really like is the first time that I've truly felt like at home living you know in New York I mean I, lo I love my other apartments and stuff but I think there's just something different about like living together with your partner that like truly like makes it feel like home so that's a really good feeling um, and yeah, I think like, I think I also, you know, with like the decorating and everything, it's been really fun to like combine our two styles 
And I think that we've made our points. And the very, very <laughs> limited overlap between our two styles. Yes, yeah. there is a very limited overlap. But I think we've made our place look really we nice. We talked a lot, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, and um, yeah, I mean, I would say like, because we have been together for so long before moving in, that at this point, like, there weren't any surprises, you know? Like, we've known each other for so long that like, I mean, obviously, like, I would stay at his place, like, pretty much every night <laughs> over the weekends, um, or he would come stay at mine, so I feel like we kind of already knew each other's, like, habits and everything, so there wasn't anything, like, that was, like, a surprise, so yeah, yeah. I think it's been great. Ooh, favorite restaurants! That's, That's a good one. That's such a hard one. I feel oh. like I need to prepare for it. Well, so one thing you guys should know about Lyle is that he is, like, a New York City restaurant master. Well, I'm a foodie. Yeah. I, I don't think I'm a master. Okay. But well, not me. I enjoy food. Yeah. <laughs> in yeah, we both enjoy food, but I but like I feel like you know of all the really good ones. And like especially like the first couple years that we were dating, it was like we were trying every single weekend like every restaurant in the city. And so I feel like I've come up with my whole list of stars on Google Maps mostly because of places that Lyle has brought us to. Yeah, that's um, fair. Yeah. Well, I don't even know where to start, but I guess, like, there's, like, the fancy places that we've been, and then there's, like, just, like, you know, the medium places, and then there's, like, the total holes in the wall. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I guess some of my favorites have been in my old neighborhood when we lived down, when I lived down there, there was Crown oh, yeah. Shy, which was mm -hmm. always good, mm -hmm. um, which was, like, founded by, I think, two of the chefs from 11 Madison Park. Uh, it's just, like, a really nice kind of casual dining spot and then they opened up a really nice restaurant that we're yet to go to on the roof called Saga. Um, so that's down in the financial district but uh, Crown Chai is awesome, definitely check it out. Um, let's see, there is Don Angie which I absolutely love. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's been in any of your videos but yeah. they make like the most ridiculous lasagna you've ever seen in your entire life. It's like whatever you're thinking it is, it's completely different. Um, and really everything they make there is spectacular. It's just impossible to get a reservation, which is kind of the one, mm -hmm. the one issue. Um, around here, I love Bar Bar. Oh this yeah, so he does. We, yeah. Um, it's like a go-to. Yeah, it's just an Indian restaurant. Um, they do some kind of experimental fusion type food, um, and like literally have yet to have a bad, a bad meal there. Um, so that's an awesome one and it's local that we go a lot. Um, I'm trying to think. I feel like I should segment into like best pizza or best like burger or best whatever, but there's so many things I don't want to like take up 45 minutes talking about food, which I can easily do. <laughs> I so. think, I think Man Man what about Manhattan? Oh, Manhattan's good. So they were closed for a while during COVID. They actually just reopened not that long ago. Okay. But Manhattan is also down in the financial district. It's um, a Danny Meyer restaurant, so like if you know Shake Shack or Gramercy Tavern, he's he's the founder. But um, he opened up this restaurant on like the 60-something floor of a building downtown that has like panoramic views of the entire city from downtown. Mm -hmm. And the food is really spectacular. It's a little pricey, but you know, it's the whole experience is kind of worth it. I forget. We first went there for like it was maybe an anniversary or something. No, we said it was our anniversary. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> Trying to get free stuff. Um, but yeah, the place is awesome. Hopefully, you get like a, a seat by the windows, which is where the great views are. Um, it's just it's a fun kind of like fun event. You can also just go up and grab a drink at the bar. So yeah, um, it's a really cool place to check out. Yeah. And there's probably a hundred other restaurants that I'm completely blanking on right now. But yes. If you if you have if you're looking for recommendations, if you Ask Taylor, I will uh, I will provide a rest. I was just going to say that, like full disclosure, most of the time when you guys DM me on Instagram and like say like, oh, I'm coming to visit the city, like where should I go for a restaurant? I'm probably asking Lyle and then texting you back because he does have such good recommendations. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. I think that's a good one. Okay, so the next question is how are you guys similar or different? So yeah, you go first. I'd say I think that we're similar in that we're we both have like a little bit of like almost like a goofiness to us in a way like I really 
know how to describe that exactly, but I would say that we don't take things too seriously. Like, I don't know, we kind of just like to be silly sometimes. Um, and I think that we're both like nice people and that we kind of share the same sort of conscience and that like, like we always both, I would say, like do the right thing in like every kind of scenario. Like I, like I, I don't know, I don't want to give an, an example, but like, <laughs> <laughs> there's just some scenarios where like, it's like an ethics where you're trying to debate like, should I do this or should you do that? And I think that both of us always lean on the same side. It's fair. Of that. I agree with that. I mean, I think, yeah, like it comes down to we have similar values. Yeah. We also have similar like ambitions and just where mm -hmm. we want to be in life. Um, it's funny because if you look at our interests, we're like the exact opposite. Like we have very, very little overlap in what our actual interests are, but I feel like That's deep true. down our personalities and values kind of align, which is why we make a good couple. Yeah. And I think on the other stuff, it's kind of just like, it's complimentary, you know, it's yeah. opposites attract or whatever they say. So. <laughs> yeah. I think where we're similar is like where it truly matters. I think so. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and how, maybe how we're different, but I see my battery. So I'm going to change okay. the battery real quick. Yeah. Favorite date night activity? Oh no, we're so boring. I don't know. Uh, but it's just truly whatever it is. Okay, fine. Um, well, I would say recently we've been doing a lot of barbecuing, which has been fun. Mm, yeah. But I feel like, I don't know, like, I feel like our typical date night is just a classic, like, go get dinner, get some drinks, maybe go to a bar after. Yeah. And then we'll come back and watch a few episodes of TV. <laughs> I think that's like a modern date night. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, we have our more extravagant ones too, but I feel like. Yeah. Not to not to fake it for the camera, that's probably what we do nine <laughs> out of ten times. Yeah, that's truly, yeah, I would say that's pretty accurate. <laughs> or ordering food and, you know, whatever. Yeah. It doesn't matter. We have like three different shows that we're watching right now, I think. Yes. <laughs> that's <beautiful. laughs> Which one's one. making you laugh? Just All this whole. Them. Okay. Um, what do you want to answer? Whatever you want. Okay. Feelings about your YouTube. So my feelings about your YouTube. Yeah. I think it's great. Well, okay. So it's funny, like, to, to have watched it evolve, right? Since the beginning when it was like, hey, here's something that I'm kind of interested in, to, you know, and, and maybe just exploring it as something to like it actually becoming a major part of your life has been kind of a cool thing to witness. Um, you know, I think you're immensely talented at it, uh, which is not something that I even realized in the beginning. And then, you know, all of a sudden, like, I saw, you know, I started seeing your content and just started seeing how people react to it too and like engage with it and it's pretty amazing. So, and I think, you know, we both have parts of our lives that we do independently that are important to us and yeah. I think this is a really good one. So, uh, I'm immensely supportive, I guess, is the is the takeaway on that. Yeah. What, what was the rest of it? Um, so this is like a multiple part question. <laughs> Who cooks more? me <laughs> I guess yeah I you also eat more at home than I yes do. that's true yeah I eat it because because I work from home every day versus he works from home only maybe like once a week so um so yeah so just because of that I cook more but Lyle loves cooking and he's really good at it um we actually just <laughs> I think Taylor's a better, much better cook but no. gives me some props <laughs> but we actually like when we just last weekend had a bunch of um, my friends over for a barbecue on the roof, and Lyle cooked 100% everything. So well, grilling <laughs> is easy. It's just stuff goes on, stuff comes off. So I don't know. I can't take full credit for that. Yeah, but he's really good. Feelings about all your pink girly frilly. <laughs> Um, well, okay. I mean, I feel like we probably toned it down a little bit in this apartment, so it's in pockets. A little bit. A lot of it. Well, in this apartment. <laughs> well I, compared to your old apartment, yes. Yeah, that's, but compared yeah, to my that's old true. apartment. Yeah. Um, that's true. Well, I mean, I would say Taylor, so Taylor has really good taste generally and stuff, so none of it looks like you're weird. It kind of like fits in its place, so 
I have no problem with it. Um, and you like, it's kind of like in specific pockets of our apartment. So it's not just like pink thing here, pink thing here. It's kind of like, ooh, here's like a cool pink area where there's stuff. And this is clearly like Taylor's vibe of the apartment. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't have an issue with it. Yeah. Um, I can be pink and frilly and girly sometimes. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I feel like that's good. And he let me keep the pink couch. <laughs> keep the pink couch forever. <laughs> Anything we want you to share, we want to meet Mr. Fashion Squad. <laughs> uh, I got a title. <laughs> how do you both make sure your partnership is equal? Example, housework and emotional labor. I just don't do anything. Now, I'd say, I mean, we both, like, well, we have a cleaning lady. That helps. Is yeah. great. Big flex. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, so, like, Lyle had one at his last apartment and really liked her um and so when we moved to this apartment just asked her to come come here with us like she's move amazing. with us and she's so sweet um and does she's a really amazing job. Like, yeah she cleans up all our messes i don't know i feel like we get like spurts of energy to do a bunch of stuff yeah. like one of us will go on like a a binge of cleaning and then the other one will go on a binge of cleaning um, but otherwise, I think we split stuff fairly equally. Um, yeah. I don't know if Taylor agrees, but yeah, yeah. Um, so I don't know. We we kind of make it work, but there's no like chores calendar or anything like that, or like we yeah. take notes of who does what. No, not at all. I don't think either of us are keeping track. I think we both just like we both make a conscious effort to you know take the trash out and put the dishes away and all those things. Um, but yeah, I would definitely say like the cleaning lady is very nice to have especially for like any couples that are moving in together for the first time i feel like just in general that could probably help a lot of people mm -hmm. <laughs> with like you know arguments and stuff the bathroom and the kitchen and everything yeah a favorite trip together okay you go first Ooh. well we've had a lot of good trips together i think mm -hmm. like you know so i mean our very first trip together was when we we're dating about a year in. We went to Italy. Obviously, we went to Paris. We've been to Montreal, Napa. We went to Florida once. Greece. Greece? Oh my gosh, Greece with his parents. Um, I think, I mean, I loved the Paris trip because it's Paris. But I think as far as like, you know, you and me, like, I think Italy was just a really, really great trip. I agree, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. I mean, it was our first vacation, but it was also just an awesome vacation. Yeah. Like, we went to so many different places. Milan, which is like so-so. Mm -hmm. But then we went to uh, <laughs> Florence and Cinque Terre. Yeah. If I'm saying Wasn't that right. Lake Como. And Lake Como. I'm sorry for mispronouncing everything. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was just like a really good trip. I don't know. It was just, there was something about it that like, that's definitely the one that I like kind of go back to a lot in my mind. Yeah. Um, and like, I think part of it was where we were, but I think the other part was just like it being our first vacation and just like spending time with each other kind of outside of New York. Yeah. Um, no, that was definitely my favorite too. Yeah. Okay. Agreed. How old are you both? How old are you, Lyle? 28. He's 28. And a half. <laughs> and a half. Do I still get half? Yeah. Credit? Okay. <laughs> and I am 29 and a half, so I'm actually older. That's right. <laughs> what is Lyle's family like? How much time you got? <laughs> Lyle has a really great family. I feel like I actually really lucked out. Because um, I actually really, really like Lyle's family. Um, his family's really kind of, I feel like, taken me in as part of the family. Like, ever since we first started dating, have invited me to come with you to pretty much like every family event that you've had since you've been, since we've been dating, I've been a part of. So, um, that's always made me feel really good, like, kind of like I'm in, like, a home away from home. Yeah, um, I have the weirdest freaking family in the world. <laughs> like, Taylor's being super polite, and they're nice, and, like, they're gonna watch this, but and they know, like, they're they're out of their minds and they're crazy, but they absolutely love Taylor, uh, and have, like, taken Taylor in as a daughter, so, um, yeah, I guess there's that. But they're, like, they're nuts, um, so Taylor's just being polite. Taylor's family, on the other hand, is, like, a really nice, authentic, normal family of great people. Um, 
Like, she does not come from a loony bin like I do. <laughs> you do not. I completely do. I also, like, really, really respect both of your moms. So, he's, um, I say both of his moms. His parents are divorced, so his, both his stepmom and his mom. Um, I, like, think that their jobs also are really cool. And I feel like I sort of, like, look up to them in that way. Um, I don't know, because like your mom, I feel like is such a boss lady, <laughs> <laughs> and like the fact that she works in fashion is really cool, I think, and she's also has been so kind to like give me clothing samples, which is like so nice, um, and like really cool, and your mom is so pretty, too, also, she's really pretty, um, and then his stepmom, Carol, too, is also like really, really, really smart and talented and like the most genuine, like kind person I think that you'll ever meet. Um, and your dad is also just like so nice and funny and just like very like warm and welcoming. Too. Oh, yeah. Nice. I feel like I really, he has a good family. Oh, do I have siblings? Where did I grow up? Do I have siblings? I grew up uh, on Long Island. And um, as soon as I went to college, my parents moved right back to the city. And once I graduated, I came back to the city. So um, I guess, I don't know, I, I'd call it a hybrid of growing up in Long Island and New York, which is kind of good, you get a little bit of both. But I think at this point in my life, definitely New York is the place to be. So uh, I'm happy with it. And then I do have a sibling. I have a, a stepbrother, Nate, who is uh, an immensely talented uh, musician. Mm -hmm. He lives out in LA um, and is kicking butt. So, um, you know, I'm sure you guys will hear about him soon if you haven't already. Um, yeah, we should plug. Yeah, we should we should plug Zoob. Uh, <laughs> look him up, Z-O-O-B. He's the man, he's the up and comer. Um, and you can get in on it before everyone else does. Yeah. Well, people already have, like, he's got some, like, real fans. Like, he does have fans, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Not us, but, you know, other people. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, he's really talented. Check him out. Yeah. No, I always thought that was really cool when he would do shows, too, like, in New York. Um, and we would, like, we would go watch him. I always thought that was really cool. Did Lyle go to college? <laughs> yes, he did. He went to a very nice college. <laughs> we both went to good college. <laughs> yeah. Um... I, yeah, I went to Cornell, I graduated in 2016, and I studied Applied Economics and Management, which is like a very wordy way of saying finance, I guess. Um, but love Cornell, like literally the best four years. Um, it's the most beautiful place in the summer, in the winter it's miserable. Um, but it's just like, it's a really fun place, made some of my best friends there, and wish I could go back. Yeah. Yeah, that's college, I guess. Yeah. That'll be a future question to answer. Okay. Not announcing that yet. Coming soon. Coming soon. Smash that subscribe button. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there will be a big thing. Did you thing. say that? Is that a thing you said? No. <laughs> Are you both introverts or is the case of opposites attract? You guys know that I'm an introvert, but what do you think that you are? I, don't, I mean, I consider myself introverted, um, but I don't know. I mean, I'm... I'm I'm generally introverted around new people, and I'd say I, I become extroverted the, the, I guess, more comfortable I get around people, but I don't know. I think we're both probably introverts at heart. Yeah. <laughs> Deep down. How did I lose it? I lose it. Like right here. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Would he mind doing cooking videos on the channel? I don't think anyone wants that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody wants it. All right. I mean, yeah, maybe I'll start my own channel. Uh, no, I um, I like to cook, but my biggest problem, Taylor knows this, is like I hate following directions. Yes. To the earlier question, by the way, on differences between us, Taylor is like the most patient person on planet Earth, like to the max. And I, if she's the most patient, I'm probably the most impatient. And... That's why I think we balance each other out. Yeah, we definitely do. Yeah. <laughs> and so, like, when I cook, like, I refuse to wait for things. I refuse to follow recipes. I just kind of do it by feel, which I feel like does not make for a good YouTube chef. Uh, it's also 50-50 whether my stuff comes out good or absolutely atrocious. Oh, so everything's always come out yeah. good. 
<laughs> I always think everything that you've made for me so, always is good. I would love to have a cooking channel, but I I feel like I'm probably not quite cut out for it. Because I look, like I watch other cooking videos and I'm like, oh my god, like the time and the prep and the edit, you know, it's like 10 hours for like, you know, a quick 30 minute recipe and I'm just like, I do not have the strength or energy for that. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I could see you like, milking it. Like, I feel like you'd be like, a, I feel like you would make it, like you'd crack some jokes. Like, I could see you. Huh. Yeah. Right. Oh, <laughs> Boyfriend does makeup. <laughs> So, fun fact, <laughs> Taylor and I went, when we were in Canada, right, that's when we were in Canada, in Montreal? Yeah, I think. We went to La Ronde, which is uh, like an amusement park, I think it's owned by Six Flags, and it's, uh, it's right in the city of Montreal on an island, and Taylor got a little cocky, <laughs> and thought that she could drink water faster than I could, which I know is a pretty lame, tame bet, but you know, I had to, I had to, you know, put her in her place, metaphorically speaking. So we, uh, we had a little drink off and, um, you know, I think you all know what happened. And the, um, the result was that I get to do Taylor's makeup. Now it's been over three years since that happened and I have yet to do Taylor's makeup. But any day, any time, I am down. All right. Coming soon. Let me know in the comments if you guys would actually want to see that. I sleep just want to see that. <laughs> I feel like that's actually very like old school. Well, it's a very old school YouTube video that I feel like people used to do, like you know, back in the days of like. I know what lipstick is. I don't think I could. I oh, the pencil is for your eye. Other than that, it, it's yeah. Yeah, Total well, crap there's shit. some pencils for your lips too. Ah, see? <laughs> but yeah, I will this is dangerous. figure that out. Someone also said, I'd like the my boyfriend dressed me up video kind instead. That would be fun. I do that. Like, you, you pick both. out my outfits? I'd pick out your outfit and do your makeup. No, that wouldn't turn out well. Mm. I don't know. One or the other, I feel like. Yeah. Dog or cat? Are you a dog or cat person? I'm a dog person. I grew up with a cat. Taylor grew up with dogs. Yes. Um, but we're both team dog. Yeah, team dog. And we would love to get a dog, but yeah, I, I think we're not quite at the time, point in our life where we can like devote ourselves. We're just away from home a lot. And yeah, I traveling work. a lot. Yeah. yeah. But we really want a dog. Yeah, I love a dog, but we need to do it at a time where like we can actually dedicate time to it. <laughs> Someone said, is he always hiding in the apartment when you're filming or never there? So sometimes like I'll just film in the office room and he's just in the apartment. Um, if I'm filming during the week, it's probably that he's not here because he goes into the office. Um, a lot of times when I'm filming though, since I do mostly weekend vlogs, you're here. Yeah, I don't think I hide though. No, you don't hide. Yeah. No. We just, we have enough space, we make it work. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Person knows you. Yeah, that's Miss Lily, the hubby and the wifey. Oh! Yeah, what have I told you about You her? did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's like been, I think she's like the longest standing, like, subscriber, or like, watcher of my videos since I very first started. She comments shout on out. every single one, so big shout out to you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's my cousin Anna. Oh really? Oh that's so funny. What, what, what if that was the ending to this video? That could be. It's not. Sorry guys. Why? Because I don't have a ring. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, the question from Anna, my cousin, she goes, where's the ring bro? <laughs> it's coming. It's coming soon. So. Alright, there you have it. We answered a lot of questions. I feel very much like we just gave you guys a lot of information that I usually don't share. I don't know if you feel the same. I don't share anything, so <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but um, but anyways, yeah, I guess that that's it. Um, yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and meeting Lyle. <laughs> like I said, he's such a big, important, big, important part of my life, so it feels good to me that, um, to share him with you guys and, to just finally do a video introing him. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Of course, 
as always, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And shout out the Fashion Squirrel as well over on Instagram. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. Thanks for the link to <laughs>